Okay, so I'm out here today testing some mobile comm setup, and I've done this FT8 thing lots of times on video. I'm talking to a guy in Texas right now. Um, so that's the first contact I hit. You can see the line going down in Texas there, and you can see all the yellow marks on there, people who are hearing my signal. So all across the U.S. What's important here is the antenna setup, and I want to show you this. This is a mobile antenna, not something I would mount on my vehicle something you would carry on a four-wheel or something like that. And this is just a pile speaker stand off Amazon. It's about 30 bucks. And you can fit this in a rifle case very, very easily. And it has a bracket that costs about 20 bucks off Amazon that you can strap tie to that thing temporarily. And I'm gonna drill it. I'm gonna drill a hole through there and drill it permanently to the shaft. And it extends so that you can get some height on it. And then I've got just a ham stick, the same ones I use on top of my vehicle. I've got, focus, focus, not focusing very well. Same ham stick I've got on top of my vehicle I'm using here for 20 meters. So you could take a rifle case, throw the stand in there, throw a coil of coax in there and two or three of these ham sticks for 20, 40, 80 meters, something like that, and have yourself a pretty easy mobile comms situation that you could carry on a four wheeler side by side, something like that, or even on your back if you absolutely had to, with a mobile comm setup like I'm using today, where I've got all of my comm stuff in one bag for the radio, the laptop, cables, the whole nine yards. Now I am running off 12 volts today here, which I wouldn't normally do, but I came out here and hadn't charged my radio. It was pretty well down. So I'm running off the 12 volts to go ahead and kick that radio battery up a little bit while I'm sitting here. Otherwise I'd be running the five, I'd be running the five watts through the radio instead of the 10 watts, but the 12 volts gives me that extra five watts. How much that's got to do with my reach, I don't know. Probably not that much to be flat honest with you. But the antenna setup is what I thought was important. The guy sent me this information on how to do this, how to set this up on the cheap through my email. I can't remember his name, I wish I could, but it's a very good setup. You have hamsticks, you know, they, they're a little expensive for each band, but they're resonant to a band, so you don't have to have a tuner once you set them up. And then the whole rig to set that antenna up out in an open area like this is very inexpensive. Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I thought we'd do today is talk a little bit about a go bag or a grab bag for base camp communications for ham radio. And again, we're not talking about the ham shack where you've got the 100 watt radio blasting out there and the huge antenna on the house. We're talking about something that you can grab and go, but gives you good base camp capability. Now, some of the equipment I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna talk too much about other than what it is, but if you go to my videos, my other ham radio videos, they will show you most of this equipment in separate videos from this. Now I choose ICOM radios and I choose them for a reason. I like D-Star very, very well. D-Star is another subject we probably need to cover in videos, but D-Star can be used through reflectors or it can be used through the internet. It works both ways. So if you have internet, it's great. It's digital voice. If you have a local D-Star repeater, it's great. You have digital voice. However, you need a radio that has HF capability so that you can do all the things we've talked about in past videos. And the ICOM 705 gives me that capability. It's like the Swiss Army knife of radios, in my opinion. And then I've got... A smaller ICOM handheld, which is the ID52, which is also D-Star cable. But it is basically my companion radio to this base unit so that someone can walk away and talk to me or I can walk away and talk to someone else. So let's go through this bag real quick and talk about it. It doesn't weigh a whole heck of a lot. It's not a real big bag. It's something that you could definitely grab and go even if you had a backpack. You could shoulder sling this thing and go with it if you needed to but it gives you something you could also carry in a vehicle and just break it out and go as well. So let's talk about it. Stay with me. All right, so I'm gonna to try to give you the up close and personal on this as best I can. This bag just came off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it somewhere in the description of this video. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was 40 bucks or less for the bag, but it carries everything I need for a mobile base unit for everything from digital communications to regular voice. The only downfall of this kit for me is that I don't have Morse code capability yet because I don't know Morse code enough to use it, but that will be my next step in 2023 is to learn Morse code to have that capability as well. But all other things are capable with this kit 
on multiple bands, VHF, UHF, and HF. Okay, enough said. So on the outside, the power foam. We've talked about this in other videos. That's what I use to charge the radio, charge the batteries, charge the laptop or the pad, all of those types of things. So it just is on the outside. It's really the only thing on the outside of this bag. So in the top pouch of this bag, and again, this could change, but right now I have coax cable in there and a couple connectors as well as a USB cable for both the tablet and the handheld. The beauty of this is most of this stuff all runs off the same USB style connections. So you only need one cable to connect everything up. The same cable connects to this, that connects to the 705, that connects to my laptop. Makes it real easy. What I may put in this pouch somewhere along the line to find a different place for coax is a tuner. But at this point, I'm trying to use resonant antennas on most bands that I work off of, so I don't need a tuner necessarily at this point. In this front pouch, we have a Pac-10 antenna. Got videos on this as well. Good on four bands. I've got a buggy whip style antenna in here, some extra cordage, a couple stakes and a throw bag, a pair of wire strippers, a couple pins, notebook, and a counterpoise. Real simple stuff I might need to get to on the fly on the exterior pocket right there in the front. On the outside pocket here, I have one spare battery, BP-307. The beauty of this system is the battery is interchangeable between the handheld and the base unit, the 705. And I have a small bag of connectors, different types of coax connectors, BNC, UHF, all that kind of stuff, or excuse me, PL-239, all that kind of stuff. So all the different connectors I would need for the cables, things that I have for antennas and radio are in that small bag. And that's all that's in there. Now, this other side is pretty much electrical. Other than the rig stick expert antenna tuner. Other than that, it is power cables. So you have three different types of power cables in it. You have a 12 volt cigarette lighter contain adapter. You have one that's 12 volt from a panel to the laptop if you want to go that direction. Or you have 12 volts here that you can connect together a 12 volt to this. And you can charge it that way off of an external battery as well. Lots of options I have in this kit that don't take up a lot of room. And so that's pretty much all that's in that pocket. Again, that pocket's nowhere near full at this point. So if I need to put some more things in there, I can. But right now, this kit has done just about everything I've tried to do with it. Now, you have got a main pocket on the front of this that kind of opens up and down. So it kind of opens at the top and then it folds out this way. And so you've got a couple things here on the front here. I have my microphone sitting inside here. I have the device for writing on my, the face of my tablet. And then I have a book for my 705, a band plan, and another notebook right there in the front of that. I have a, Pel a Plano ammo box right here. And then this Plano ammo box which sits in here perfect, by the way, fits the 705 like a glove. So if you're looking for something to protect your radio while you travel, this Plano Ammo Box Model 1312 fits that 705 with this wind camp cage on it like a glove. All right, and you've got some room. You can put some stuff in there, but I don't like to take a chance on damaging the face of this. So a rag in there would probably be the best bet. And that sits in the top of this straight up just like this and zips up. And on the back pouch here, I have a Microsoft Surface Pro that I use for digital modes and things like that. And it clips right in there. The radio sits right here. Everything zips up all nice and neat and tidy just like this. And you have a really simple go bag system. And I just put this here, and wrap the straps over the top of it. Bring it around the front side and hook it. And it's good to go. Well, that is a real simple system that will do almost everything you want to do from digital to voice with five to 10 watts, depending on how you've got it hooked up. Remember, this is a battery. This power film is a 12 volt battery as well. So it can run everything on 12 volts or you can run off the external batteries. But that only makes a difference in wattage. But you can charge everything on the fly. You can run everything on the fly. You got different antenna configurations you can use for different bands. 
you have a handheld device to go with the base unit and you have the 705 base unit. The only thing that's lacking in this kit, like I said to me, is the ability to communicate through Morse code. And the only reason for that is I'm not familiar with Morse code yet, but that is my next level of learning when it comes to ham radio. Okay, guys, so that was just a quick look at a base camp communications go bag that I've set up for myself. And again, I'm definitely not the expert when it comes to ham radio. I'm still in the learning process. and I learn new things every day from, you know, a lot of mentors that I'm working with on the internet that have great videos out there already on a lot of this stuff. But this is kind of my own take, my own personal take on what I think is necessary to carry for emergency communications on different bands using radios that, again, you know how I am with the multifunctional thing. Same chords, same batteries, same setups. All those kind of things are important to me because they mimic my survival mentality. So I carry that over to ham radio and make sure that all of that stuff is compatible with each other and works well in a small enclosed unit. And this new antenna that I'm showing you today is basically just another way to set up an antenna. I've got a ham stick on this truck. So if I'm in the truck and I'm mobile, I can talk off of that and use the same kit to do the same thing, except plug that antenna into it. If I'm on a four wheeler or a side by side or something like that, or the Rocon, any kind of a vehicle over distance type thing that's not in the Jeep, then I can always throw that larger antenna that we talked about in there or just go off of the pack antenna and that will work fine. But if you're looking for something that you can kind of set it and forget it, and just change it in and out and you've got a little bit of room to spare. This antenna system works pretty good. You can see I was getting really good coverage on 20 meters with just setting that thing out in the middle of a field. It's not very high. It doesn't take up a large footprint. And again, you can fold that all up and it will fit in about a 47 inch flat like rifle case. I've got one on order right now for that. And you can put the cables in there. You can put the extra shark sticks in there, the tripod in there, and you're ready to rock and roll. If you want to just slap that thing on the back of a vehicle somewhere, or even in a vehicle like this, if you want to be able to drive away from the base station and not have the antenna hooked to it, you could do the same thing. Guys, I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I will be back with another video in the cooking series right after Hamvention this weekend. Thanks, guys.